12. 11 more days, 10 days, 9 more days, 5 more days, 1 day to go. <laughs> These are the last days of camp. But first, let me give you a tour. This is Alao 1. This is Alao 2. My hostel was Alao 2. Very unfortunate. This is how the inside looks like. These are the most populated and ugliest of the hostels and that's because they are also the oldest. These two hostels are side by side. Behind there, where you see people, is the bathroom. That is even more terrible. Beside the our hostel is the kitchen. Preparation and collection of food goes on here. Towards the outside part of camp is the boys hostel. This is the popular Ajimobi hostel. It is a big hall and all of them are in there. They are like two smaller extensions by the side but 90% of the boys are in this hall. Opposite that hall are the other girls hostel. This one, Alafi hostel, then Olubadon hostel. Behind Olubadon hostel is Shinopela hostel and Asenyi hostel. Both of these hostels are in front of the camp clinic. This is the entrance of camp. From this view to the left is the pavilion and camp market. To the right is the kitchen, hostel and clinic. That's where we are coming from. Let's go to the other side. This is the pavilion. This is where we sit for all activities. If you are wondering which day I filmed this, it's on a Sunday. We don't do anything on Sundays till 4 and you can also wear casual clothes till 4. Here is the entrance to Mami Market. Every camp has a market and it's called Mami Market. You get everything you can possibly need in camp from this market. My phone even got spoiled in camp and I was able to repair it. Here you have places to charge your phone, you can print out and photocopy documents, you can repair your shoe. You guys, they even slip it the jungle boots, like the NYC boots. The majority of the market is full of places you can buy food to eat. I was really tired of the food in this place. There was no a lot of varieties and they were not really delicious. In my opinion, these people have the best food in Oyo camp. This is where I ate most of the camp. Their mama is the best, their mala is the best. For me, their food is the best. I ate here more. In the market is also a section of laundry, guys. My laundry was taken care of for like 3,500 or so for the duration of two weeks. It was honestly my best investment in camp. You also have a station of tailors at your service. You can also braid your hair, you can barb your hair. There is a puffy and smoothie place. There is a bar, a place to watch football. And if you come in the night, you see people that make suya and shawarma and barbecue. There's just everything you need. Towards the end of camp, we begin to round up on all competitions. This is the side competition where representatives of each trade come to showcase what they have created. The 
in my camp, we had a lot of other pageantries, like Mr. and Mrs. Ankara, Betty Butter, Mr. Manchu, and Mrs. AYC. Unfortunately, I cannot show you all this because all the clips I had from these pageantries got lost. <laughs> So for the carnival, each platoon is given a tribe to represent. They are meant to emulate the tribe, dress like them, and also plan dances or dramas surrounding those tribes.